Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Persona 4. We left off. I have no clue what happened, but we were gonna play, and we're wearing socks, and it's great. Wearing socks. It's just a good old time. We're gonna go to bed because you are tired from adapting to your environment. Um, rest in your room. Uh, yeah, let's sleep. Let's do it. Nothing else for us to do with our lives. Uh, pretty much, this is our lives. Uh, now, in our. Oh, there's. There's a. Uh, Someone. Rolling student. Every time. Every time he does something that just makes his life terrible. Maybe you should help him. Or maybe you shouldn't. Oh, I do help him this time. Hello. You saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Elite. <laughs> I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, Yosuke. Um. Is your bike okay? <laughs> oh, nice to meet you too. Uh, you uncomfortable? About that dude walking over there? Your SK seems to be alright. That's good. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah, it's pretty insane actually. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Yeah, I think um it's Illuminati. Um, you might be right there. Some type of serial killer. Body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Yeah. So, serial killer status, right there. That's then what again, I it's to say. pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. <laughs> True. Normal people don't do that. Oh crap! We're late. I love how my guy just doesn't talk. Oh no, we have you to get to right? school. It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Um, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, do we actually get on? Early morning in the morning. I just find it. Oh, why isn't he talking? Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you buttocks. <laughs> Philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your running attitude while I'm at it while I'm down here, down here. And I'll be especially hard on any of you morons that are curious enough about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Whoop whoop. Yes. I love the increase of knowledge. I love getting smarter and being just intelligent all around. It's pretty much great. Just pretty much though. Am I touching my... No, I'm looking inside the desk. So, you getting used to this place? Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's pretty great. Wow, that was fast. Well, it's nice and small. It's not like the city, so I can get used to it easily. Look at my dead eyes. <laughs> there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. What? What is it? Like grass? We don't have any grass in the big city. It's pretty crazy. Um, all we have is smog. Uh, it's pretty bad. You should you should try it sometime. The air is clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Uh, is have anything to do with testicles? Cause I'm not into that kind of stuff. It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? No, um, that's actually um, I don't know if you notice this. They have that everywhere. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Oh, yeah, nice. Any free food is definitely a go, yes. Oh. What about me, huh? No apologies? Jay was just waiting in that corner, constantly walking to just to, so she could jump in at the right time. Uh, my trial of the dragon? Uh, to what trial of the dragon? I don't know what you're talking about. You always come around when I'm talking about food. Oh. Snap. He knew she was waiting. He's like, you were waiting for me. I saw it. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Whoa, don't pull her into this. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Wow. She's like, whatever, loser. Don't need time for you. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. 
Yeah, come on, dude. Well, I should be on my way. All right, see ya. Have fun. Doing work. Oh well, we should get going too. I guess. Let's get some steak. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Wow, what a cheapskate. Come on, man. Treat the lady. Maybe get a few brownie points while you're at it. My question is, is all of that Juness food court? My question is all is all of that Juness sign off? Or is it just that J that's off, like the actual thing? Because that's the only one that has like a real shadow as compared to the others being looking like they're really close to it. I'm looking too much into this. Hey Yosuke. Thanks for the steak. Is this, this really is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, GA. Well, not the grilled steak part, but the this being the place. This is like a convenience store. What's going on? Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Ooh. You still gonna give me some steak after this, though? Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. For real. You own this? I'm pretty sure this is this is, this is, this is uh, I'm pretty sure this has been said before, but man, we're in the midst of a rich dude who bring us like lasagna or something. What is that? Ew, I don't know what that is, but dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, so he, he doesn't own it, huh? Oh right, I haven't told you yet, huh? I guess not. Um, so I was listening. I, I just... moved here from another city about six months back. Oh, so you're just like me. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. Oh, I see. So our entire family came out here. Sounds like a fun time. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Oh, thank you. What great awesomeness. A drink. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Oh, snap. He's laying down the smooth moves. Yeah, I know. She's like... I know. Uh, bad posture, but I know. <laughs> I did. I did drink as well because everyone else was drinking, so I had to, you know, I had to take a sip. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. Why? It's great. It's like. Everything you want in one place. A lot of stores there started closing and... Oh, um... Uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? Yeah. <sighs> can't blame it all on, uh... Juness. Good old Juness. Um, what's the theme song again? I was trash talking, um... What's her face? Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Oh, is that your... Is that your lady friend? Sorry, be right back. Oh snap, he's gonna lay down the moves. Um Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. Oh god <laughs> Oh snap. You hear that Yosuke? Oh he doesn't care. Oh that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Oh snap. Think I she think can head us up? Working here part -time, though. Just kidding, I don't drink. She's working here. At Juness? Hey, is this Juness? This you is Juness. Sorry, Yosuke, I talked during while you were talking. I was interrupting you, and I feel awful, but not that bad, to be honest. Hey, I'm finally on break. Yay! What's up, Hana-chan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, Hana-chan, what a great name. Ugh! Madam, you wound me. Oh, madam, my lady. <laughs> what a guy. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oof, oof, oof. Laying down the smooth moose. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. I'm thinking they're in year two. I know this is late to mention this, but I'm thinking they're in year two because they have two on their collars. I'm sorry, girl. Go to, go to bed. What else do you want? Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. Mm, nope. She I said, am. I'm tired. Not, I want to talk to somebody. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. That's her way of saying, don't talk to me. 
Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? I don't know. Why do you have squiggles above your head? That was really weird. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? I'm just saying that should happen in real life. Like stuff appearing over your head. Uh, yes, I am the uh, really attractive one who entered school. You don't have to. You don't have to hit on me or anything. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? Um, yeah, actually, just just a second ago, I did. I did not know who you are until now. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Um, not really. I just started talking to Yosuke. He's a, kind of a weirdo, to be honest. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. It's because he likes men. Not necessarily. What? No, sorry. He likes you. Or men, he likes you. You're not a man. As far as I know. Okay. This is getting, this is getting weird. All right, let's just keep on. Let's just keep on going. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Yeah, me too. He seems like a pretty Hana good guy. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Oh. Ooh, she's telling you how it is, man. Without She's like being passive-aggressive about it, though. Yeah, he's annoying. That's not true. Nah, he's a, he's a great guy. Yeah. We gotta get on his good side, yeah? So let's, uh, let's... Let's butter him up with the gnaw. Nah, he's a great guy. There's a hair on my TV. Monitor. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. I know you were. You want to be that mean in front of the Come guy. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. He's like, notice me. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. Notice me, senpai. Notice me, senpai. That's Yosuke. That is what he's saying constantly when he's talking to this girl. Like... He is not subtle at all. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. All right, catch you later. Laters. Laters. Do people say that? That's not something people actually say. Oh, senpai. Senpai, notice me. She left, dude. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. Yeah, she uh, says that, but she's really in love with me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. <laughs> oh, 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 that's oh, tough love. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Isn't scion a car? Um, while they're talking, I'm going to look this way. Dude, it's not like that. Yeah, come on. He doesn't. He doesn't like her? That wasn't obvious. You can just not even think that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Is it Z-Quill? Because it's not for fevers. I mean, it's not for colds. It's not for fever. Um, it's just for sleep. And that's exactly what she needs, because she said she was tired. So you should just give it to her. Go like, hey, I like you um, in a good way. Here's some Z-Quill. Not... Not in a weird way. This isn't. Oh, never mind. This turned out way weirder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> you ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Uh, whoa. I try to stay away from those ones. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off alone exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Ooh, it's like Bloody Mary. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Oh, uh, 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 Sion, uh, Sion, um, is what she said, is a descendant of a notable family. You're welcome. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. That's spooky. And they say, sorry, that person's your soulmate. I just had to figure out what it meant when I saw it. Oh, lady friend. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Oh snap! How get can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Yeah, come on, GA. <gasps> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? No, that's why he said it was childish and an urban legend. Of course I don't. Yeah, come on. No one's gonna believe stuff like that. Sorry, I was kind of getting my cell phone. It was on the floor. Um, yeah, no one would believe that. That's so dumb. Who voice acts him? 
Is that? I gotta hear him talk more. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Ooh. Then you'll see. Ooh, true. This is like when you're like in third grade and they're like, hey, go up to the mirror and say Bloody Mary and turn around three times. And you're like, no, that's spooky. And then they're like, do it. Summon the devil. And then you're like, oh, no, I'm not into this kind of stuff. <laughs> try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Yeah, seriously, you're going to tell us what to do and you haven't even done it? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. Oh, sick burn. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Nah. Nah, it's totally by accident. Of course it was murder, you idiot. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> is it? Is it you? It's totally you. No one would say that unless they were the culprit. Sheesh. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Ooh, she is playing the card. Back All on I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Yeah, or else. She'll like, Chinese. Pata, ta, ta, pata, karate, karate, pata. Karate is Japanese, isn't it? Yes, I said Chinese because she just, she is, I don't know. She just feels Chinese. To Okay, I'm just gonna keep on. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Like you have a choice. Like I have a choice. I don't. I don't have a choice. It's evening. Oh, Nanako? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Your pup's not here. Another dinner alone with Nanako. No romantic feelings. Cause she's like three years old. Um, yeah, don't, don't worry. Let's not, um, let's just, did your father call? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm getting kind of sick. Um, kind of, a little bit. Not too much, though. I don't need, let's just, we're in, we're playing a game. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, I don't mean to talk about my personal. Don't worry. Don't worry, Nanako. Yeah. It's okay. We got this hot food. Oh, he's home! Oh, da 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 ba ba na Dojima, that's your name. <sighs> what a day. Yeah, seriously, look at that. Ooh, look at that tie. Sweet. Man, you always have the same clothes I'm on. back. Did anything happen while I was out? No, we're just eating. No, you're late again. He's, he's working. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Yeah, you can't can't blame him. Come on, Nanako. He's trying his best. Can you put the news on for me? Dude, okay. If I was a detective, I wouldn't want to watch the news. I live that. Don't like he pretty much lives what's going on. So like why does I I don't know. I guess he's you know, it helps. I guess. But it's like I don't know. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. Hmm... When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mrs. Um, Misuzu Hiragi. I don't know, it has two eyes. And Inka Singer. Okay. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? I mean, that'd be the most obvious thing. I'm not sure if that's what it is. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh, snap. <sighs> An interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell would they find her? I don't know. I feel like you would know this before anybody else. Like, really? 
What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Oh, that looks like um uh, that wine girl we've just met today. Saki. Uh, um. <laughs> I thought it was a fart. <laughs> the female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? What are you, like, what kind of, don't you think it's scary? Shouldn't you be scared? He's like trying to psych her out. Huh? She was killed? Oh, she doesn't even know. Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? This is so bad. No, not really. She's the killer. So suspicious. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? It? Uh, okay. I... This is terrible. Huh? That's... That's confidential. She was the one who killed it. Her. Ah. The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Seriously, this guy seems... I don't know. He's just bad at his job. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke Senpai. Your senpai as well. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. True. Dojima. Slay it. Say it how it is, man. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. Hey, kids who are watching, this graphic thing happened. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Probably. It's probably like a cult. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Yeah. Um, I did it. Uh, I just, uh, got an antenna, kind of killed her, um... I don't won't get any charges for this, right? Of course he didn't come. Uh, loads of prank calls, though. Why would people? That's illegal. That's just messed up. I don't know if it's so. The cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet. I guess not. Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. It's been one day. Give them a break. Like you're doing anything. <sighs> Yeah, Dojima. That was... That sigh was, uh... Well-deserved, gotta say. We'll be right back after these messages. They're gonna beat him up. After talking like that. It's a freaking frog. At Juness, oh, no. Every oh, day no. is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I don't want to get in touch with your products. That's just weird. Is that a sh What is that in the top right? What is that? Is that... I know it's like some type of fish or something. I don't know. Oh. Every day's great at your tunes. And then Nanako's gonna sing it. Every day's great at your Juness. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Juness! Theme song. Hey, Dad. Can we go to Juness together sometime? It's like an it's an amusement park or something. I mean, I get that. I don't know. I guess this is just your way of handling the situation, which is totally fine. Oh man, he's out. No. Guess not. Maybe later though. After he wakes up, he seems to be asleep. He could just be faking it though. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Jeez. It's okay, Nanako. We can go together sometime. Well, uh, no, I'm not your dad or anything, but I'm totally your awesome cousin. Your awesome cousin. Let's eat it from the fridge. You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Eat the fried rice. Mmm. We just had dinner, but ah, fried rice tastes so good. Mmm. That's so, so many dots. That has no taste at all. Strange. <laughs> Poisonous. It's a kitchen. We have some ingredients. You can make lunch. Okay, but I don't. I guess that's what it's saying. What's over here? Every day is great. Ah, your genius. It's raining tonight. You made a promise. Return to your room and watch the Midnight Jail. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know if I read that fully. I said, yeah, just give him later. It's raining the night and you made a promise. 
<laughs> you can hear it raining outside. You can also see it if you turn around. But it's, it's really pouring. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Oh man, I wish... Okay. No, I probably won't do this. But I so want to edit in a flashback of her just saying that. Could she a story be true? Wow. Oh, stop. We're stuck. <laughs> the TV was too small. Are you okay? Yeah, I just uh, kind of almost went into a TV and then hit my head on the table. Uh, yeah, uh, kind of. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. Don't, uh, okay. Sorry. Is that... I'm looking at the planet thing right now. Is that... Is that constantly doing that? Is that... What are, they, what are those called when they, like... Uh, too much mind-thinking powers. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. Ooh, what just happened? You decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I'm gonna put all those into first person from now on. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that. What the? Hello, everybody. Everyone, my name is... Why are these people not voiced anymore? Like, what's up with that? Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Safue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for... Um, dowser to look for lost items and there's nothing quite like a romance in fact world history is a magnificent romance history is like a river it was born in the past and flows ever forward i hope we can all enjoy the profoundity profoundity of history together Yo -ho -ho. <laughs> santa claus and since this is my first lecture i'll start with an essay question Ah, oh, transform Mr. Light Yagami. Please stand up. Light. Why is there so many? Oh, because I didn't. Because I didn't. Because I didn't press enter. And I just went all the way to the next one. That's going to be there every time. That's going to be there every time. When did AD, in other words, Anno Divinio begin? Uh. Ah. Uh, Oh, holy crap. I don't know. It's, um, Eno do, Domino Domino, um, however you pronounce that word, means in the year of our Lord. So I'm guessing it's when Jesus was born, but I'm not exactly sure. Ah, oh, you seem to understand this well. 
And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. It means before Christ. Yeah, where the years before Christ is born. Although now they call it before the common era and whatever. But before Christ. This is, of course, the way we count our years today. But it wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. Ho ho ho, I'm Santa Claus. It was around that time that there were many religious wars and power shifts occurring. Anyhow, the world's beliefs have been an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are related to religion. You know, if you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. Um, I think this has actually changed um, in Golden, because um, my brother played it. And I think this has actually changed in Golden um, to, like, an, it, it was the same question, just asking, like, when it was. And maybe they just asked qu different questions each time, but I think it was changed in Golden. But regardless of the culture or the tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that their will is passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization revolution. <laughs> you gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Yes. Wouldn't my knowledge stay the same if I gave the correct answer? My knowledge was in, would have increased if I would have gave the incorrect answer because I would have been... What's up with the body being hung upside down? Because they would have given so me... Freaky. Oh, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. Because they would have given me the knowledge. They would have given me the knowledge of it and I would have got it wrong. So it would have been better to get it wrong. Because then you learn more. I mean, if that's what you thought was right, then you would have gotten the correct information. You don't learn anything from saying the right thing. Just saying the game's incorrect. Even though she did teach us some other stuff. What's up with the body being... Oh, she already said that. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? Question, why it's are... messed up. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for copying. I mean, talking over you. But why are these people voiced and not the teacher? That seemed pretty important to me. <laughs> My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Mm. Yeah, the Saki. Yeah, she found the body. Y yo... Um... Hey, how's it going? What's up? It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but... Yeah? Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, you saw it too, man. It's pretty spooky. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. Yeah, let's wait for Chie, since she's the one who told us to do it. Well, Yo, look, there she's there. The rumor? What rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Oh, what's going on? Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? I'm sorry, I had to yawn. It's kind of late. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Just, you know, you have to do what you gotta do. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? Super. I mean, someone has just died. I guess they're running her ragged. Yeah, probably. By the way, did you see it last night? What? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? Uh, yeah. I saw a girl. I did! I seriously saw a girl. What? We both have the same soulmate or just the same gender soulmate? But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? That means you're a lesbian. What can I say? You know, just have to deal with it, GA. That's your life now. <laughs> I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Maybe it was just a dude with long hair. <laughs> that happens in anime. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. But she was wearing our school uniform and Well, mine's kinda of, my girl's is kinda of blondish. But she was wearing a school hey, uniform. I think that's the same person I saw. Yeah. Why aren't you wearing her school uniform, GA? I couldn't make out that much detail though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Oh, snap. 
So you Wait, weren't as so good. You saw it too? That means you aren't as good, Yosuke. You're a total poser. And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? I think so. I think we're all in love with the same exact girl. Which is totally fine by me. How should I know? <laughs> yeah, Yosuke's kind of dumb. How about you? Dumb. Did you see it? Um. Yes. I did. Um. I told them what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Yeah. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Um, I just pressed it once. Some, you know, there were some ripples and then got sucked in, but there, it was, I was too small. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. You don't believe me? We just saw, we all saw the same girl and you don't believe me? That'd be one interesting dream, though. Oh, come on. This just happened. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. It's, it's realistic because it really happened. Well, if it had been bigger, then... Oh, snap. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Che, you're a genius. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. They are. This was made in like 2007, so they're kind of getting in, are they? Were they? This was either made in 2007 or 2009. I think it was 9. I think it was 09. So yeah, flat screens were really getting in at that time. Yeah? Weren't they? They were kind of, yeah. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. But now there's no one who doesn't have a flat screen. Like, I don't know. Anyone who doesn't. So... You know, 2015. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. <laughs> oh, you're so simple-minded, Chie. But well, that's fine. Um, I'll stick my hand in it while we're at it. What? -ta! <laughs> what a girl. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> sure you do. That's not a joke, though. That's not funny. I really was... <sighs> they don't believe me at all. What? Well, I guess we're going to June S with the others. What a bunch of weird... Weird nerd... What a bunch of people who don't believe me. June S, electronics department. Oh, snap, wow, that's huge. huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Yeah. Buy something like this. I could definitely get sucked into that, baby. Look at those penguins. <laughs> it's a penguin talking Japanese to another penguin. And then there's like a hedgehog thing in the back. This place is great. I don't know. Rich folks? Um, yeah. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Oh, that's sad. I doubt uh, anyone here needs not to Not worth it. trying, man, I guess. Ooh. Well, at least looking's free. Yes. If they actually paid you for looking, that'd be messed up. <laughs> they tried it. So you did Get believe me. Figures. Ah, whatever. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Just because you guys aren't special doesn't mean anything. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Wow. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? A big one. Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? How about the one you currently have? Uh, 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 uh. That was good, that was good. You gotta admit, that was really, that's funny. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not a comedian. Oh. Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model, just released this spring. What a guy, Yosuke. You are such a freaking loser. No offense, I love you, man. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. What? Two? Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. Ooh, he's like, you're cheap, guy. You've got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. Oh, I'm sorry for doing that. 
by the way. That noise that you hear. I won't do it anymore. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... We can just rob the place. Wait, just a display unit as opposed to a regular TV? What's the difference? With a, with a TV this big, I really might be able to go inside. Well, let's try. Ha, whoa, whoa, hey guys. Um, yeah. What kind of TV do you? I'm kind of stuck. Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? I'm kind of in the TV, just a little bit. <laughs> Is his arm in the TV? Just a bit. Um. Whoa. You believe me now? Uh, is that some kind of new model, L like with a new function? Um, no, I think don't think we're that far advanced. Hell no. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no way. All right. You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Just a bit, as I was saying earlier. Well, grab on. Let's go for a ride. Oh man, yeah? this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. Not magic. I was not lying to you guys. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? No secret. Just touched it. My hand got sucked in. Both of them are staring at me, astonished. I might be able to put in more than just your arm. I might be able to put more than just my arm. Oh! <laughs> hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh, snap. Whoa! There's candy over here. Oh my god! Guys? Uh, there's an empty space inside. What do you mean, inside? I mean, like, in the TV. What do you mean, empty space? You know, kind of like a b blank space. Taylor Swift. Okay. Seems very spacious in here. You guys should join. What do you mean spacious? <laughs> well, uh, like big. I mean, what's going on? Well, there's a lot of room. Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Oh no! Don't, uh, don't pee what your the? pants, man. Are you gonna pee your pants? <laughs> I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to Why go. have you been holding it in all day? I, mean, that's... I can't hold it anymore. Just go right just go right here. Just go. Oh no, what's he doing? Shit, customers, they're coming. <laughs> customers. Oh, oh no. Go in. Go in. You just pulled me out. We got a guy half stuck in a TV here. Well, thanks. Thanks for saying my name. I feel so What are we going to do? Um Help me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, running around frantically while. Wait! Whoa! Of course they get. Of course we all get pushed into the TV. So do they need me as like a. Whoa, whoa. Do they need me as like a transfer? Because they weren't in, able to get in. Nice. I'll be quiet. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Not some place inside Janice? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh... Heck if I know, man. Asking the wrong guy. <laughs> you did hear? He's like, I fell on my wallet. It was just so thick. <laughs> so? Uh, we're still alive, right? Yeah, as far as I know. Well, I guess that's where we're gonna end it, guys. We just got stuck in a TV. What's gonna happen next? Well, we'll figure it out next time. See you guys then. Bye. Adios, amigos.